So this is our 2005 Lagoon 410. She is 18 years old. And uh, we're gonna take you for a little bit of a tour today. We've done this before, but we're doing it again. Why? Because this boat is amazing. And what we wanna show is that even with a modest budget, this is not gonna break your bank, this boat. You can sail around the world and you can have a beautiful looking boat while you do it. And she's also strong because Ben has fixed everything structurally. So come on aboard and let's check it out and we'll go through everything that's been done in the last, I don't know how many years. But the main part today is gonna be how pretty she is now. Before we go on board, I'm just gonna point out a couple things quickly because they make this whole operation work. We have a huge amount of solar, 2.3 kilowatts. We have a big dinghy with a big engine. This is a 12 foot dinghy with a 30 horsepower two stroke. We have new sails. We have new standing rigging, which is the wires that hold up the mast, new trampoline up front. Uh, there's a lot of new stuff and a lot of stuff that's been maintained over the years, but let's go aboard and check out the inside first and then we'll get to that stuff at the very end. Let's show you how you can make an old boat look new and it's, without like destroying it. Come on in. This is our dining area. This is our cockpit. This is where we drive from and this is where we eat. And let me tell you, it is amazing. This enclosure has created this indoor outdoor living space that has revolutionized our lives. We had this added in Thailand. Then come on in. I'm pretty sure this boat doesn't look 18 years old anymore. And it took a bit to get there and a few brave steps. And one of those brave steps was paint. So I think what really changed the space and the feel in here and created this sort of bigger, brighter, newer looking boat is the paint. And the paint on the walls here, this wall used to be wood and it was awful. It was turned, it had turned orange over the years. I think it made us maybe started that way. It wasn't a great color to begin with. And this was all orange. So we painted cabinets out gray um, and then the walls out white. And we did all the fiddles white to match the countertops and the nav area white. And it made, it makes a huge difference in here. To me, it looks like it's almost a new boat. We have done so much. We have replaced the countertops with Corian countertops on this size. And it's really revolutionized. We'd already extended the cabinets in, in uh, New Zealand, but we extended the countertops to be all one level and it's really made a big difference. This is a whole huge surface to prep. New sinks because the old ones got destroyed. New taps because they were broken. And then coming over here, a new chopping board and a few new appliances since we're finally in a place that sells kind of fancy appliances. We managed to squeeze in a coffee maker, an air fryer, uh, a new blender that actually works. And because we're hooked up to power a lot right now, I do have the induction hot plate out and I do use it a lot. Uh, we have a new cover for our fridge. And in Thailand, we actually replaced this fridge. This was originally a water-cooled fridge and it is now air-cooled. So it works in the water and out of the water, but that doesn't really matter. It also uses a little less power. The lines don't get clogged with barnacles and it's much better at cooling. So the other thing that I really pushed for when we were here and much to Ben's chagrin, he was a hard no on this for a while, guys. And I managed to convince him that it was a great idea. And that was to redo the cushions. Uh, we've been having a lot of problems where this one would fall off if you opened it. Um, that one never fit. They didn't quite fit perfectly. They were looking a little sad and old and all the zips were breaking on them. So every time you opened one, you basically had to restitch it back together. And I wash these all the time with the children. Whoa, well, let me see one. Well, that's that. beautiful, bud. I love it. Let's ride the ship and we can find one and put some tape on it. Okay, okay, should I put it on the wall in our new hanger? I'm just gonna get Willa another piece of paper for her artwork. But these baskets, I actually had custom made here. There are some really great artisans here in South Africa, and this is Mia Melange. With kids, there's so much stuff. There's the artwork, there's the toys, there's the, I don't know, stuff. So it's really nice to tuck it away. That we have, oops, water. Oh, we need some new water. Here you go, bud. You gotta dip in the paint, bro. Hi. So like I was saying, there's a lot more mess with children and once you have a tidier, cleaner looking boat and it doesn't seem so orange, I just wanted everything to be kind of tidier and more put away. So I've been slowly purging, we've been purging a lot and um, 
buying things to help us create cleaner spaces so we can basically put our junk away. So we have our ditch bag and it actually stays out all the time. So a ditch bag is basically, it needs to be out because if you're getting off the boat, it's kind of an emergency if you're taking that thing with you. And uh, so it always needs to be out, which is kind of annoying. But we're in port right now. We could put it away, but it just, it just looks out. That's okay. But how did this all come about and why on earth did I decide to do a remodel? And it all started with this. I still have the, the, the mental memory, vivid memory of ripping up this floor right here and discovering all the rot. And to rip that up, I had to actually remove this, which is a subfloor on top of the bridge deck. Yes, this boat's had a lot of work done, uh, some structural, um, and after we ripped up the floor, it was really, well, you might as well lay new vinyl flooring because, you know, the, 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 it's destroyed anyways. That was the start of this whole extended Right now, you might as well lay new vinyl floor. And before we lay vinyl floor, you might as well paint. And then once we've painted, we may as well do the cushions. And yes, that's where we're at now. But we're done. We've actually laid this floor all throughout the whole boat. And the next thing we did while we were painting is make a new dash. So, but then we also rearranged things to be more logical. Over the years, you add and remove instruments and it just gets to be a big mess. So. Uh, we have a newer Raymarine Hybrid Touch, old radio, old uh, gauges for tank measuring, so water and fuel. Uh, this is our battery monitor, our CD, and air conditioning. So yeah, things are much cleaner. In behind is also much cleaner. Everything is organized and tucked away. That is a mess right now because I'm provisioning to leave Cape Town. We're leaving next week and uh, yeah, crazy, hey? When we left to go sailing eight years ago and actually for the first uh, four years, we made toast by frying it in the frying pan. So that works too. It's much easier though with kids when you have a toaster, it speeds things up. Makes life easier. I don't think we used to eat as much bread. I might explain a few things. The other thing we did is, which is really important to us because we live on board, is, is upgrade our air conditioner. This is our air conditioning vent. It's now a 16,000 BTU air conditioner that gets, it gets pumped into the saloon here and also into the kids' bedroom. We've moved the 12,000 BTU air conditioner down into our room and it cools off that hall. So the whole boat can be heated or cooled because they're reverse cycle air conditioners as well. It's made a big difference, the heat here in South Africa. Whoa, what is it? What is it, monsters? It's what? Monsters with hair. Monsters with hair. We have a budding little artist. A great activity on board for kids is uh, painting and crafts. It takes up a lot of time. Especially if you're sailing across oceans, we find that the main thing is occupying the children with activities, especially at this age. It's a very young, um, energy-filled age, a very active age, so. So you either feed them or you do things with them. We made sharks the other day. Um, I have a lot of craft stuff on board and uh, googly eyes are a hit. Glue is another hit. There's a lot of contractors in South Africa that we've had that are hit and miss. Um, I think a, a lot of it's because uh, they haven't worked on boats and then they come to work on a boat and it's, it's quite a bit different, right? But this company, uh, Prestige Trimmers, Fairness, is amazing. They were the most professional company we've ever had. They gave us receipts when they took away our old cushions to show that they'd taken them away. Um, they templated everything before they started. Um, and then they basically left and came back with the finished cushions. It's, it's just, you know, when you have a contractor sometimes that, that does an outstanding job, I feel like credit needs to be given where credit is deserved. And in this case, that's definitely true. So. Uh, we'll link their details down below. Um, if you need upholstery work in Cape Town, this is the company to go to. Amazing, amazing quality, amazing workmanship, amazing relationship with them. And as they were here late last night and I didn't have as good luck, I'd hired someone else to do the curtains because I thought it was too much and our timeline was too short. Um, you'll notice all the curtains are gone because they never were completed after six weeks. So I've 
I've restarted with Farinez. And she's hopefully gonna have them to us by the end of the week. Yeah. But we're pretty like pretty see through right now. Like it's kind of <laughs> funny. Like I have a piece of paper over the toilet area where you go pee because you know, there's no curtain. <laughs> we live in a fishbowl right now. We're actually living in downtown uh, Cape Town, which is awesome because, you know, when do you gals get to live on your own house in Cape Town unless you own an apartment? But everywhere around us, there's uh, apartments and we're like the fishbowl. Um, but it means we're right downtown. By the way, this is the table down. There's a table underneath here that, that goes down uh, when we're at sea or when we're playing with the kids. This is their play area during the day. Outside we eat because it's messy with little kids, but this is where we play um, and, and and sleep when we're on passage, like with the person that's on shift might nap here. Um, and if the kids are playing, you can see them if you're steering. So it's, it's a really great space. Uh, we didn't put these cushions out until we had kids. Um, and then we found, oh, this is actually really nice to have a huge bed, a day bed in your saloon. We do put it up at night, which is me, Ashley, doing work on the computers and eating inside. But during the day, this is usually down. It's wonderful. And really, we only put it up at night because it's so cold here after the sun goes down that um, it's nice to be inside with the heater on and the doors shut. But this normally is now our dining area and this i think is like our living room and it's kind of like a normal house right like think of it as a huge sectional in your living room Tia, i'm gonna take you down now and show you the kids rooms um we got willa's and bodie's and uh maybe willa will show us hers hey willa do you want to come show us your room yeah so there's all new floors down here in the halls and i've also just kind of tidied up the kids rooms and added these amazing shelves that they get to play with so they do play in their rooms now and on passage it gives just a whole nother area where they can go and have their own space uh, willa's we've set up is mostly as a kitchen right now because it's been a lot of fun to to play down here in our kitchen and we've also taken off the lee cloth she's a big girl now that's a lot of hair on that mermaid <laughs> It's, it's weird because we're normally in hot climates and we've never before had like soft fabrics and like duvets on the beds. It's normally just sheets. So it's been a real treat to kind of ha need a duvet. It kind of creates a little bit of a cozy play area too. And then we got these really cool shades, which wasn't in the plan, but uh, they were available. And it's great because we have in every room now we have shade and mosquito netting. It's awesome. Uh, and then all new bedding for the, the rooms, which we really needed because we needed to get quilts now that we're in South Africa. And uh, it's kind of nice, it makes it cozier. And last but not least, I think it's the kids' favorite part is the shelf. You wanna make sure you're not taking anything away from your children or not giving them less when you're on a boat. At least that was me. So I feel like the kids have everything they need on the boat. We have an entire kitchen. They have everything the same as they would have on land. Uh, it's a little different, uh, but we've made it work and it's awesome. And Willa loves it in here. Bodie likes to come and tear it all apart. In Willa's room, we still have the netting over the window so she can't open it. And uh, that's important when you're sailing. You don't want that opened. Uh, it's, it's not good. So the kids each have their own room and Willa used to have a leak cloth in hers too, but uh, she doesn't need it anymore. Uh, this is basically like Bodhi's crib, but the lee cloth is what holds you into bed on a sailboat, typically on a monohull where they rock, but I think it's the same thing when it's a catamaran. It's just, I'm using it as a crib for my child. But Bodhi also has uh, toys in here, and in the morning you hear his little car going down its chute, click, 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 and it's really cute. So he has a lot of fun in here too, and uh, yeah, it's nice that they each have their own space, I think. So yeah, we're just a normal family, normal kids in a normal boat, uh, living as similar as possible to, to life in a house. Um, we've done lots of little things, even like these these stickers on the outside, you actually can't see in, but you can see out. So you can see the dock right now, but people can't actually look in. So like, yeah, there's been a lot of additions, little additions like that, that just make life a lot nicer. Our electrical cabinet is right down here in this hallway and all of oh, all of the solar charge controllers are right here. Our inverter, which takes our battery power and converts it into 220 volts or 110 volt is in there as well. 
Uh, we have a switch panel for all of our uh, systems on board, such as shower, sump pump, or VHF, or fresh water pump, or deck lights, uh, AIS, electrical instruments, and so on and so forth. The one thing we have is our engines under our beds in the rear of the boat. And some boats have them outside of the bed, so aft of the actual bed. We don't have room back there because that's where our steering is, our rudder. Um, the one benefit of having your engines under the beds interior to the boat is that they are super, super clean and don't have any rust. We really love our Yanmar engines. You can find Yanmar technicians all over the world um, and parts as well. So Yanmar is definitely the way to go. They almost look brand new, even though they're eight years old. And that right there is a high output alternator. It outputs 120 amps an hour. That's another thing that we use to charge our batteries on the rainy or cloudy days when we don't have enough solar. <laughs> the last uh, the last bit is the owner's side and uh, again new floor down the whole entire hall and a few extra little tidbits that are really nice so come on down so this is the desk on our boat and it is so important to us we live on this boat permanently this is where ben works from he makes videos here we store a lot of books here in communications all the things we need to sail around the world so it is uh it is a very important part on nahoa and uh, we couldn't really live without a desk on board we love it so we moved the 12,000 btu that was upstairs down here and it actually cools and heats this whole side better it's actually a pretty big area down here so it's nice to have an oversized air conditioning for it uh, we have the control panel there and then we just have the regular safety stuff a carbon monoxide alarm that's finally mounted a fire extinguisher and our, you know, hammer to get the heck out of here if we need it. This is our escape hatch if we flip and these are our new escape hatches that we installed in Thailand. So they don't open and they don't leak. Since it's a boat, you don't have a lot of room. So you gotta place certain equipment in certain closets. This is where our air conditioner lives for heating this and cooling this, this, this hull. Also our water maker sits down here. I still have a little bit of install to do on that one since I moved it a little bit. But yeah, it's nice and tidy on the outside. We had actual grates made into these doors um, to let the airflow through for the air conditioner instead of just buying a big white grate and plastering it over top. So a lot of thought and effort has gone into keeping the boat as original as possible without making it look really junky. There is my closet that is always stuffed full and even more so now that I have two seasons worth of clothing, clothing in here. Usually it's only summer. If we ever get a new boat, I just need a little more space. And then it's the bathroom and there's been a few revolutionary changes in here. I am so happy about one. One is this electric converted toilet. We finally found a conversion kit that fit properly beneath uh, the toilet on the pedestal that we had available to us. And it is awesome. And then we did a couple extra things in here. Uh, this is the sink area that Ben decided he needed to like, you know, exert a little anger on. You might have noticed that in the last video. They pressed this sink in so it looks great. Uh, new tap because uh, the other one was disgusting and also didn't fit there. Check it out, there's a seal right there. Oh, he's got a rope around his neck. Oh no, is he dying? Do you know we installed a bath on Nahoa? Do you want to see it? Come check it out. But this bath, we, we put outside when it's hot, we put inside when it's not, and it is fantastic. And uh, it's like normal kid life. You gotta play in the bath. I guess what I'm trying to say is that we have everything that you have in your home, basically we can have on Nahoa. It's just a bit different. And, uh, and, and the bath, the bath is one of those things and uh, it's it's fantastic under the floors in the bathroom is where i keep my canned goods for big passages and most of the time there's not a lot in there right now is stuffed to the brim because we're about to take off on the atlantic crossing so living on a boat is just like living on your house we try to create the same environment for our kids as you create at your home on land and uh, the only difference is that it takes a hell of a lot of work to maintain all the systems and to keep an 18 year old boat functioning and operational to sail across oceans. So Cape Town has been a lot of work. Uh, it's been a big refit. Uh, it's been mostly an interior remodel. 
um, but also a few minor maintenance things on, on the systems. Um, we are a truck, that's right. I am so happy with this remodel. I would do it again in a heartbeat. It feels like a new, light, happy place to be in. And I highly recommend it. I was terrified, terrified to paint. And I kept, I kept to like being like, am I doing the right thing? Am I doing the right thing? I was so scared. And then they painted. I think after eight years of sailing around the world, we finally finished refitting our boat. We bought this boat as original in 2015. It was a 10 year old boat at that point. And uh, we've just kind of slowly fixed and upgraded it over eight years and three quarters of the way around the world. So we're done. We're done. <laughs> no, no, we're almost done the circumnavigation. The kids love it. We love it.